We are back with another card reveal. It has only been 12 hours. I am not even going to do an intro. We're going to hop right in. First up, we've got Surpassing Blast, and I have six more cards after this that I've gathered from Twitter, and shout out to everybody, uh, all the creators on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, all of that, putting out all these card reveals. I'm just gathering and showing. But we got the Surpassing Blast, a magic card, one mana, deal two damage. Pretty, pretty strong. That's another similar card to Ancient Text and Form of Power. Uh, Empower three, so that Empower mechanic is popping back up. The following after the colon is deal four damage instead. Now I did see on earlier's video, uh, some of you were explaining what Empower is. I haven't quite got to figure that out yet, so continue to educate me and everybody else. I appreciate it. That helps out. As I'm going through here, if you see something that needs to be corrected, throw it in the comments. Hit that like button. Keep up the great work. But either way, this being a one mana card doing this much damage, another spell for magic. Not much to really say there to that. Next, we've got two mana. This one is a creature, the Augur Optimist. And it has another new term, Echo. So, I don't know what Echo is yet. Hopefully one of you guys can tell me. It also has Roar for C1. And then 3 attack and 1 health. Now this is a Mystic. So, cards like the new Unicorn card could give this ward and protected. That may be something we see in some decks. If we find out what Echo is... Might be seeing it in a lot of decks. Same as with the Empower and the Tempt of Fate. So we're getting a whole lot of new terms with this new expansion. And the third magic card that we have. Three mana, Bold Scholar. Again with the Echo. This one's Frontline. Spell Boost plus one. Three one and a Mystic. So without knowing what the Echo is, that's pretty good. Frontline and Spell Boost. There's only, I think, the Lightning Wall. I don't know if that's, I can't remember if that's the name, but it's four mana Magic Wall that is Frontline and Spell Boost. But this can attack. And then it gets this added Echo feature. So Magic is probably going to stay in the meta pretty strong because it is not getting any weak cards that I've seen thus far. All of the, All three of these cards are probably going to be playable. Now up next, we're keeping up with the dogs here. Looks like almost a Pokemon type thing where we had the cute fox pup, the lupine collector, I think it was, or it was the vulpine collector, and now we have the lupine wayfarer in nature. Five mana, five strength, five health, tempt fate, continuing the tempt fate trend. And then Roar, give Blitz to this creature if you control another wild creature. So giving Nature Decks another Blitzer like the Giant Pangolin, that's going to be pretty nasty to deal with. That is a rare, as you can see. And then we got an Epic here. This is a 3 mana, the Forest Heart Dryad Echo. We saw that on those Magic cards. So Nature's getting some of this Echo action, whatever that is. After a friendly creature attacks, heal it for two. And then it is a two three wild. So obviously these two paired together will probably be pretty decent. You could play the dryad first and then drop the lupine wayfarer for the blitz. And after that blitz, it would heal the lupine wayfarer. And both of them be wild, they could be buffed by many of the wild buffing cards in nature and more healing for your creatures there's plenty of other creatures that could work with this forest dry this forest heart dryad so nature continuing to be very strong and i'm i'm pretty excited to try to get a hold of some of these pups and their evolution up to this wayfair and see if maybe we've got a seven mana one coming out We've had a 1, a 3, and a 5. I'm going to guess there's going to be a 7 mana one that is very, very strong. So, looking forward to that when that comes out. Now we have a Death Legendary that is 
been revealed, one mana, Samut, bearer of burdens. When this creature enters the board, give one plus strength to your other creatures. One, 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 and a Nubian. So we were talking about the new Nubian cards earlier. The Land of the Dead, I think it was called. We'll be able to pull up to six one mana Anubians. <laughs> this would definitely trigger with that buffing all of those Anubians if this one was to enter the board first or was already on the board. And you could as well use it in the zombie decks to buff the zombies off of Obelisk and the Necro Scepter. So this is going to see play. That is probably going to be a very strong legendary as right now and then as death continues to develop with some of the cards it's getting from this set so if you're a death player you even though you've seen magic and nature getting their uh getting their cookies right now don't worry you will be getting some cookies too so for the final reveal for you light players i have one for you two mana this is an epic Yukos in Eclipse. I think that's how you say that. Beautiful artwork. Just an incredible picture. And you can see how it's warped in this kind of scope. Different uh, framing than we have on some cards. It's more along this carnage sweep circle. But you just see how they actually bent the geographic landscape just really cool i like to point out the art on some of the cards that really catch my eye but anyway light deck each creature gets minus one minus one and soulless so you're buffing a lot of creatures on the board you've got a lot of health you could stand the sacrifice of minus one minus one if maybe your opponent has a bunch out or if you don't have anything on the board and there's a bunch of zombies, you know, one health creatures, this would wipe them, essentially. So, the card that is going to take some a little bit of timing and practice to get used to, but essentially a board wipe for low mana creatures in light, which is something light misses. So, it being a epic, of course, pull rate's probably going to be low on that. This probably will probably get some value especially with this light meta that we currently have i could see this played in any of those decks but tomorrow i'm sure there's going to be plenty more reveals i will try to get to every single one of them if i can as always appreciate everybody joining me stay safe out there until next time this is war with the enemy think that it was meant to be living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity.